Sod and I'm back uh, making another video uh, about the FX30. So today, uh, as you can see by the title, I'm adding the 10 to 20 F4 power zoom. And so right now I'm shooting on the 20 to 75. It's a little bit tight as you can see here. And so with the APS-C camera, there's a couple of things that factored into me getting this lens and so effectively this turns into a 15 to 30 with focal range and um, you know it tends to be a little bit too tight especially in my desk setup uh, I'm really up close to my desk I'm really close and I like to be on the gimbal uh, to actually shoot my videos and so we're gonna switch over to the 10 to 20 here um, and see what kind of a difference it makes in terms of the focal length and being so squeezed in on my head. Okay, and now you can see that we're on the 10 to 20 F4, the Sony lens, the power zoom, uh, G lens, not a G master. And so obviously you can see the big difference. Uh, this thing isn't cropping straight into my face. Uh, it's like very comfortable. Um, my, probably my favorite thing about this lens is, well, there's two things. One, the autofocus is, is pretty great. Um, I'm shooting at F16, so you probably can't see too much of it. Uh, my NDs don't arrive until tomorrow or Thursday. So it's not looking great right now just because I'm, I'm at F16, but um, my second favorite thing is the zoom rocker. And so just being able to zoom in a little bit, still have some room. This is at, that was at 20. And so zoom back out a little bit, nice smooth transitions. And so it's, uh, it's pretty great. I'm loving this lens. It's a welcome addition. And so autofocus is great. The portability is great. It's still super tiny. And so, um, Having that 10 to 20 and then that 25 to 75 zoom range on on uh, on this FX30 kit is is phenomenal. Um, I I tend to shoot uh, really fast lenses, uh, wide apertures, and so this is kind of different for me. But I am loving the portability. Um, I'm not super worried about it. Usually, I'll try to use this lens in, in places where the lighting scenarios are favorable. So we're gonna bring this aperture down a little bit. And so, yeah, I'm loving this one so far. It's great in my desk area where I don't have a ton of room. And so I'm gonna walk over there and kind of show you and walk you guys through and get rid of some of this ambient noise so I can kind of walk you through uh, what it's like to, to be in my YouTube setup at my desk. This wide setup is great. Again, if I don't want to show the entire room, just power zoom on the front and, you know, get rid of that distortion. Looks good. Um, have more room to just, you know, operate in front of the camera. Um, and again, this is kind of, um, a good test for being in a lower light situation where it's not so bright on the outside at the end of the day. Um, you know, in here you can kind of see what the autofocus is like back to me and so. Um, even though it, this lens is a little bit out of my comfort zone, I trust it. It's an important thing. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be able to take this anywhere and be able to shoot with it. Uh, if I need a wide shot, that's great. Tighter talking head, I feel like I can get that too. And yeah, there's just so many things that there is to like about this lens. Super small, as you can see here, I flew it on a gimbal. And so at 10 or 20, it's super smooth as it would be on a gimbal, uh, even though the lens is not stabilized. It does really well, it holds up really well. Any kind of gimbal. And so as you can see, Sony 10 to 20 millimeter PZ G lens and the Sony FX30, um, it's a pretty great combination. I have a lot of faith in this. Everything uh, about 
the FX30 I'm enjoying so far, the autofocus, um, the menu options, the flexibility um, in terms of like color grading and dynamic range. Uh, and I'm just an amateur, so I'm kind of learning as I go. And, and I think that's kind of a great perspective to have because you know, I don't think that everyone buying this is, is, you know, a cinematographer or a DP. And so at this point, I'm enjoying making videos for myself and for my client. And so, yeah, I think this is a great starting point for a lens uh, and, and some of my camera duo. I plan on doing a lot more tests on this. Uh, if there's any test you want to see in particular, uh, subscribe on this channel. I want to do some of the more um, organic filmmaking tutorials and, and guides and reviews and stuff like that because you know I'm taking this on from the perspective as as a newbie, as a beginner, even though I know some of the principles of shooting video. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to learn along with you guys and, and kind of take a lot of the lessons that, that and questions that we all may have. And I'm happy to be the test dummy now that I have this rig and this setup. And like I said, I love it so far. So subscribe, comment, do all the things. Um, the point is always appreciated. And, and, Happy to be on this journey with other creators and filmmakers and aspiring filmmakers just to, just so we can all kind of see uh, what roads we're going to navigate and uh, how, how, how we can all grow together. So everyone has a great week. I hope you guys tune in to more videos. They're definitely coming soon.